Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com. And in the last two videos about constructive form, I failed to mention a pretty important concept. So we're going to talk about that in today's video. And to give you a really obvious example, let's take a look at this soda can. So what we're dealing with is a straight label. Do you draw it straight across the can like that? Well, no, because this drawing is in perspective. So in order to correctly draw this label onto the can, you have to wrap it around the form. After all, this is a cylinder, so you're going to have a cylindrical label, even if it's straight when seen from a side view. So this important concept is sort of the keystone to drawing any sort of detailing onto a simplified understructure. So let's take a look at our werewolf. All right, so what you're looking at here is the very basic simplification of the werewolf's torso. And before I can go adding any kind of details onto this, I have to be able to think of it as a three-dimensional form. And a great way to practice this is to simply draw contour lines. So here I'm going to sort of trace a pinstripe down the shirt of this torso. And to do that correctly, you have to be able to really internalize what this shape is in three dimensions. And if I wanted to really envision this shape, I could continue to draw these pinstripes in parallel. And this gives you a bit of a grid on top of the dress form. Now, this is probably not actually going to work for this werewolf. You notice he's not wearing a striped shirt. But really, this is just a representation of the way I'm thinking about the form. So I'm not actually going to draw the stripes, but I'll think about the stripes. So now here, as I actually begin to add details and costuming onto the character, I'm still thinking with this in mind. I'm wrapping lines around this form. I'm picturing the wireframe, if you want to think about it that way. And of course, I can extend beyond the image itself. I can draw pouches outside of this dress form if I want. But ultimately, it all has to be grounded in the understanding that this is a three-dimensional form. Okay, so you're wondering, how do I practice this and get better? And interestingly, the advice I'd give is to do a still life. Because at its heart, what you're doing here is envisioning basic 3D shapes in space. Well, what's a still life? It's basic 3D shapes on a table. So if you can draw pots and pans and spoons in convincing 3D space, well, that's really all we're doing here with this werewolf. So if you want to get better drawn werewolves, draw some still lifes, and then give it another try. So good luck with this, and thanks for watching.